We are Liz and Alex, and we are bikepacking 2,500 miles across Europe from London to Istanbul, Turkey. In this video, we bike across Bulgaria, the 14th country of our journey, where we bike through the beautiful Balkan mountain range, but also experience a variety of challenges. My tire is wobbling all over the place. I am struggling with some serious chafing. Making us question whether we can actually make it to our final country of Turkey. Good morning, guys. I'm not gonna lie, it's almost the afternoon at this point. We're stumbling towards the finish line. We've been getting out later and later <laughs> each day. I think we both are just tired is what it comes down to and we need like a week off of this. I literally have an egg size bump on my left side and so that's very painful to ride on. Our bikes also feel like they're barely making it to the finish line. <laughs> we have 430 miles left. We have to just make it guys. I've noticed our percentage of us listening to things each day has gone up. <laughs> I've gone through, I don't even know how many audiobooks. I should, we should put on the screen, like, because I listen to audiobooks mostly. I do some podcasts, but mostly audiobooks. And I'm just going through them like crazy. We're going to get ourselves packed up and hopefully try to leave before noon. Okay, guys, we're packed up now and we're going to head out. We were not able to make breakfast because our stove did die. We're really hoping we can find something in this very small town. If not, we're gonna be real cranky. Let's head out. The butt pain is real. Always bad first thing in the morning. I just got like numb out or something. Straight uphill on a cobblestone road right away. Without her first gear, Liz is struggling on these steep hills. It's also first thing in the morning, which is never a good time to be doing hills. We stopped at the store here, got a few things. It'll tide us over till the next town. And we're actually trying Bulgarian yogurt for the first time. And it's really good. It's like, imagine like Greek yogurt, but it's even more firm than that. And it's, I think it tastes really good. Bulgaria is supposed to be known for its yogurt. So I was hoping to try this while we're here and it is a success. This hill is just way too steep. Even I'm walking, it's gotta be like close to 20 degrees. This dog's been following me for quite some time. This is really rough here. This is the road. This is a shortcut to a main road. Okay. Got my friend still. My tire is wobbling all over the place. It's now wobbling so far that it's rubbing the frame. I keep hearing it like rub just a tiny bit here and there, and I've tried to adjust it, but I think it's gonna take a little bit more work. And we're not even halfway through the miles we're supposed to do today, and it's 5 p.m. almost. All right, we're good. I think there was another issue where my, uh, one of, there's like a drop. It's a part of the bike where that the wheel is attached to. It was actually loose, so I had to tighten it. That was causing some of the issues. I think I'm okay. More than an hour later, let's see if we can make up some time. I don't know how much of this we've been able to capture on camera, but ever since Eastern Croatia through Serbia and now in Bulgaria, there's just so many stray dogs everywhere. You never know whether they're gonna run after you or not. <laughs> um, some of them do and you have to just like stand your ground or they will just chase you on your bike. Psycho dogs.
Not a late night. In the dark, it's really hard because you can't see the big dips in the road. And so it's really challenging. I keep getting jarred. Yikes. Oh. Is this it? Come here. <laughs> Alright guys, we're in our guest house and we have the sweetest kitty. It's another guest house night. Honestly, there's just not a lot of campgrounds out here anyways. We justified it because we're like, we're supporting the local economy in areas that could probably use a boost. So, that's our justification. My bump is, is so bad. I'm having to sit so weirdly to try to not rub against my eggshell bump on my saddle area. I'm gonna have to disinfect it tonight, I think, to make sure I don't get another infection. Yeah, that's it, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. We are about to head out for the day. We are out about two hours earlier than we have been out for the last several days, but it's still not as early as we hoped. It's about 9.15 right now, and uh, we're gonna try to do 70 plus miles today to get to the big town that has a cool fortress that we're hoping to check out because we want to avoid another late night debacle on a highway. The tailwind is so strong right now that like, I'm not even pedaling because the wind is pushing me. It's, it's insane how strong this wind is. All right, we are a little bit more than halfway done for the day. It was definitely good getting an early start. It's heating up a bit, but it's really not too bad. Kind of a nice fall, October day. Pretty windy though. This wind has been absolutely insane, but fortunately for the most part, it has been pushing us since it's coming from mostly the west. emotionally destroyed me. That was in Flandin Sons. Those who've read it probably know the part. I'm pretty sure if I had a sail right now, just like put up a big kite or a big sail on the bike, I'd just be flying down this road. I was just like sitting up straight, just coasting, 15 miles an hour. So we made it here to Veliko Tarnovo. I'm not sure if that's right. My saddle sore area needs some help. It's bad, it was really hurting today. It's like not even just the sit bones though, it's also like other parts. Like mm, I think yeah. we might need to adjust the seat a bit. Anyway, I think that's it for the night. Yep, guys, we will see you in the morning. All right, good morning guys. It is, I don't know what day. We're like a week out from finishing. My nether region is in bad shape, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's just, it's a bad situation going on down there. So I am struggling with some serious chafing, chapness. I'm using lots of the cream you're supposed to use. So anyways, Let's hit the road, guys. We are very close to being done. Literally so close. Like 300 miles left, right? 315. 315. We got this. Let's do this. <laughs>
But this is the Sarovets Fortress. It's actually really cool looking and I wish we had the time to explore it and had a place to put our bikes. I think it's from like the 11th to 13th century. So it's like pretty old, it's really, really cool looking. It's gonna be really hard to capture this on camera, but this cat can open the door. Not sure we're gonna actually leave today. My saddle sore pain has been quite bad, so I don't know. All right, so what's going on? There might be an issue with my frame. The back tire is just so close to the frame on the left side. It looks like the tire is kind of angled that way a little bit. Do we need to go to that town? Oh, I don't know. Like, it does look like that. I can see that. Yeah, but it gets worse. So like if you spin it this way or which way? There, right there. You see how close that is? I mean, it's almost rubbing. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to need to get some serious work done on these bikes when we're done with this because they're definitely just struggling. And the problem is they don't have American parts in these areas and our bikes are very American, we've learned. And so like they take like a week to order and that would require staying in one place for a week. So that's kind of just to give you guys a background on part of the problem we are facing. I think if we do another long bike tour, it might be worth trying to either change our bike or get some of the parts adapted so that we can have it serviced anywhere in the world. Which we definitely want to do another long bike tour. This is, I definitely could see how this is very addicting for sure. So I think I figured out at least a temporary fix. So I noticed that there's some adjustment screws on the drops. And when I adjusted them, that kind of re-centered the tire a little bit. So now it's not anywhere near as close. It's still a little bit wobbly, but not nearly as bad as it was before. So I think this is gonna work. I think, I think we'll make it at least. I don't think this will be another, an issue for the rest of the 300 miles or whatever. Oh, that's a confident, bold statement. Well, that doesn't mean there's not going to be other issues, <laughs> but I don't think this will be the cause of that. Well, now that it's noon, we're heading out for the day. <laughs> okay, guys, so we've been craving a bakery for a while. I haven't found one in Bulgaria. Google Translated talked to like five different people in town, eventually got to this little window bakery in this small little town in Bulgaria, and uh, got some yummy stuff. It feels heavenly and it smells good. And it was like literally just this little window shop. Like, like you would not know it's here unless you talk to people. Okay, so this is item number one. It's supposed to have cheese, as we understand it, inside. Ooh, look does at that. It? You just look at that bread. Oh, wow. It does have cheese though. I see cheese here. Mmm, yeah. It's fluffy bread stuffed with cheese, so you can't really go wrong there. We've seen a few of these espresso machines scattered throughout our time, but once we got to Bulgaria, these have been everywhere. 25, 30 cents per cup. It's also good too. Look at that. Let's just show that foam. Yeah. Oh man. That one might be one of the best ones we've had. It's so good. Yes, you've got like all the options here. This is chocolate you could get. I'm a little nervous with all my chafing I'm having. 
I did butter my biscuit, as we say. When did we coin that term? <laughs> I, don't I think know. that was on this trip. At some point. Good morning, everyone. It is actually the next day. We ended up just getting such a late start yesterday that we actually just stayed a night. And part of the reason for that was also because Liz's saddle area was just way too sore yesterday and she just really needed to let the swelling decrease. But we are going today, already climbing. It's gonna be a big day, I think. Either way, we have a ton of elevation gain to get through the Balkans. But I think Liz is doing a lot better now that she gave her area some more time to rest, right? Yes. <laughs> so hopefully we'll be a little bit better prepared to get through these mountains. So my saddle sore area is doing much better today. I think taking a day and a half off and then doing really low, low miles the day before helped a lot. That would be my advice, you guys, if you're experiencing extreme saddle pain, just take some time off. I feel like I'm going so much faster too than I would usually on these hills because I'm not in horrible pain going uphill. I think I'm just gonna keep using that chamois butter like crazy. <laughs> Anyways, today's a hill day. I think we're gaining 3,000 feet. Hopefully there's no other challenges. <laughs> Total elevation gain for the day so far, about 3,100 feet, and it's only been like less than 13 miles. It hasn't been too crazy steep, but it's just been like kind of relentless just uphill this whole time. We only have about a mile and a half left, and I think we'll be through the hard part of the day. All right, guys, today is a beautiful day here in the Balkan Mountains of Bulgaria. Definitely have major fall vibes everywhere got like that bite of crispiness in the fall that I love. Feels good to actually get our heart rate up. I feel like I haven't had my heart rate up biking in a long time because so much of it has been just flat and my body is so used to biking at this point. And we are done with the big hill. Back to the big hill. Woohoo! Made it to the top of the pass. I think this is a good lunchtime spot till we go down. Honestly, this is such a beautiful pass. I think I've been craving this kind of really out there in nature with very few cars vibe. And it's been really, really nice. My favorite day in a while. The crisp fall air too is just such a vibe with all these leaves. It's beautiful. Of course, by the time we post this, it's gonna be winter. <laughs> down and it is absolutely freezing. So, so cold. Last year. Cool. guys we just got to Tavitsa and we got some donuts they had just like vendors carts out there this is a small it has like 10 donuts and it was like two something so it was very affordable yeah I asked her for whatever topping she thinks would be good that's kind of been my go-to in a lot of these countries and she put some sort of jammy topping on it and usually I'm not a huge fan of like jam with donuts but I'm open to trying new things Let's see warm which is nice the jam on top is like a kind of like a syrup like you would get like a berry syrup at like a diner in the US it's good now that we're over the Balkans you can tell things look a lot different it's starting to look a lot more like what I expect Turkey will look like a lot more like dry deserty kind of grasslands but then you still have the Balkans over there
Um, I just kind of just in Deutsch. We got to a place here in Slivin, Bulgaria. Uh, it was a really beautiful ride through the Balkan mountains. And we're at this place here and it's amazing. It costs $37 for a night here and it is equipped with two bedrooms. Nice looking bedrooms. And a PlayStation with games. <laughs> I wish there was more time. Nice bathroom, washer, kitchen, and a nice little second bedroom here. I can't believe what we're paying for this place. I keep going back to that campground in Italy that was like $56 for a night, and here you have this. It's like way cheaper. Anyway, really nice place. We're gonna get cooking, have a nice little dinner, and go to bed. Good morning, everybody. We just left our lovely guest house and we are gonna be heading, um, actually a really short day today. We only have about 45 miles. It's one of those situations where we either go very little or too much and so we're gonna do the 45 miles. It should be mostly flat as well. So it should be a pretty quick day. All right, let's head out. What do you know, guys? We have a bike lane here in this town. Guys, we are so close to Turkey right now. If we really wanted to, we could probably get there today, but there's just no towns on really either side of the border, at least where we're crossing. We won't be doing that, but we will almost definitely be in Turkey tomorrow. We got onto a super rough road somehow. Wow, that is a lot of garbage. All right, so what's going on today? <laughs> when we were riding on that rough road back there, something happened to Liz's tire. It got punctured. So I think the sealant's working, but I've got to put some pressure in it. Oh, I need the gauge. So I have tubeless tires on mine. All tubeless. This is the first puncture we've had though, I think, this trip. On your bike? Yeah, on my bike. On the next episode, we made it, we made it to, to Turkey! Turkey!